Yes, so it's disturbing when Medicaid expansion is wrecked by politics because it's very clear, the jury is in, that states that have not expanded Medicaid are seeing worse health outcomes. And of course, it's the most vulnerable among us, uh, especially rural Americans, uh, rural Americans of color in particular, are suffering the health consequences of that failure. So part of what we need to do with, and part of what we will do with the public plan that I'm proposing to create is ensure that it's accompanied with subsidies that effectively gradually uh, merge in effect the characteristics and the reimbursements you see with Medicare with those you see with Medicaid. Uh, as we do that, we see the purchasing power expand. Now, I prefer to see some level of state autonomy in this because there can be innovation uh, that I think will be especially useful as we find new ways to deliver mental health care, which needs to be a parity in reality, not just on paper, with physical health. Uh, and so there, there is a continued role for state, but we cannot allow some Americans to uh, be told to make do with less because of the politics in their home state. And so we need the right kind of subsidy structure, and we're gonna pay for it, by the way. I, I'm a little more concerned about deficits than is maybe fashionable in my party, probably just because uh, as the youngest candidate in the field, I think I might be here with some of these fiscal. <laughs> but we can, we can do it without raising taxes on the middle class. Uh, we can build enough revenue up with sensible tax regime uh, to ensure that we can provide the kind of subsidies so that everybody gets health care regardless of their 